In this example, we have a bar graph that displays midterm exam grades for the number of students in a given class. So I'm going to start by looking at each of the pieces of the bar graph and then identifying the numbers that go with them. So it looks like four students earned an A on the midterm and seven students earned a B and nine students earned a C and three students earned a D and two students earned an F. If I add those, I'm going to get 11, 25 students total. That information might come in handy uh, as we work through the questions on the right side of this table. So part A says how many students made a B on the midterm. So we know that from reading our table already, that would be seven students made a B on the midterm. How many students were in the class? Well, we figured that out already too. That would be 25 students were in the class. What percentage of the class made a B on the midterm? Well, seven students made a B. So I want to answer the question, seven is what percent of 25? So there's my percent question. I can set up a percent equation, seven equals x times 25. And to solve that equation, I would take and divide by 25 on both sides. So I get x equals 7 over 25. If I divide there, I get 0 0.28. And converting that to a percent would mean 28% of the students made a B on the midterm. What percentage of the students made a passing grade, A, B, or C? Well, if I add up those numbers, I get 7 plus 4 is 11, 9. That would be 20. So I'm going to say 20, and if I follow my model from this example, I can just divide 20 by 25, and that gives me 0 0.80. And if I change that to a percent, I get 80%.